What's up everyone? Thank you for tuning back into At Home Dude. I appreciate you. Today we're going to be talking about Riot On Toys and why I'm kind of against them now that we've had about five of them, I believe, if I counted correctly. We've had a, an assortment of different kind, but I'm going to go through it and I'm going to let you know what I don't like about them and why you may want to avoid them. So these Ride On toys are actually pretty cool and the kids do like them. Just the concept of them being electric and being able to go and the kids can control them. They do like them. So I want to acknowledge that. And there are positive things. There's a bunch of flashing lights and glowing things and radios and all kinds of things going on with them. So they are a tool gift, but number one, a lot of them have battery issues. So a lot of the ones that go outside, they have battery issues. And out of the five that we had, four of them go outside and three of those four have had battery issues. I've replaced the batteries. I believe I bought two spare batteries and both of those batteries already have issues also. So the thing about it is that charging it is imperative. Even through those winter months, you need to remember to charge it at least once a month is what I am tracking. And so even more than that will probably be better. You just wanna make sure that you get that charge on it. And then as it depletes again later on, you get another charge on it. So for me, we already have to charge so much stuff. I mean, you're talking eye watches and toothbrushes, everything needs to be charged these days. So for me, I don't need any more things to be charged around the house. So I am good, I'm too good off of that. Some additional information I know about the battery just off the top of my head, I believe um, up to 18 hours or so, some are 18 to 21, you have to make sure you disconnect it from charging because they don't damage the battery. So you also, I, what I like to do is put on a timer and then on my phone and then randomly uh, at some point during the day, it will ring and I have to go remember to unplug it or else it'll damage the battery. I mean, this is just nonsense these days. I think it should be a whole lot easier than this because once you damage that battery, you pretty much have to buy another one. So moving on from the crappy batteries, which is just the biggest crappy thing about it. And honestly, just that alone is pretty much why I don't wanna get it anymore. But number two, they're pretty expensive. So some of them are relatively cheap and I would actually steer you toward buying the cheap ones, especially if it's your first one. But also we had a really cheap one we actually got for free. And that was the one that the battery just seemed to last and last. I literally left the thing out there in the rain. I didn't care about it because it was like missing a seed and stuff, but the kids love to ride it anyway. It was really dirty. And for whatever reason, I never even charged the thing, but the battery just would continue to work. I don't know what the situation was, but whatever. The battery worked on that one, but otherwise these things are pretty expensive and you're talking about anywhere from some of them at their cheapest might be like around 60 bucks, but a lot of them that are nicer that people are gonna gravitate towards are gonna be in the one to $200 range somewhere in there. And yeah, they do a lot of things, a lot of bells and whistles, but they are expensive and you can get something for much cheaper that might be better for your child. Number three, they take up a bunch of space. So even if you have the space in your garage, a lot of times they don't build garages very big anymore. So there's not a lot of extra space. And then you're trying to shove this thing on the side of your car or whatever and trying to slip in your car without scratching it on their car. And it's just, Annoying, I tend to be a little bit of a minimalist and I don't want all this junk hanging around. So we're pretty much getting rid of a couple of ours and then we're gonna stick with the big one that we have left. All right, and our last one, number four, is uh, there's no exercise involved for the kids. So the kids are just gonna ride on it. Maybe they'll chase after it, whatever the case. Most of the time they're gonna be riding in it. There's no exercise involved. So onto my alternatives, obviously it's just going to be a bike. Like just get your kid a bike. You can also try out these new balance bikes. I'm sure they're not really new, but they're new to me. I'm gonna try them out because it really does seem to help your child learn how to balance on a bike on two wheels. And then later on, all they have to do is pick up the pedaling part, which is pretty easy. So I'm gonna let you guys know, I'll probably do a review on how things go with the balance bike, but you can get a bike, you can get a scooter, you can get um, skates. There are so many different alternatives that you can do that actually get your kids moving and get them exercise. 
they're not big and going to be in the way and they're not as expensive and you don't have to worry about a battery, right? So these are great alternatives and one of the best alternatives that we have had that they have put more miles on this thing than anything else is their tricycle. They ride it around the house, they ride it outside of the house. They're pretty much just always on this tricycle and they love it. And the last thing I'm gonna suggest as an alternative, it's not really an alternative, but just like I said before, buy a cheap electric little scooter or something to see if your kids really like it and to see if the battery situation works for you or if they may or may not have a battery situation. We actually had a train that worked on a track and we kept it inside. Um, the batteries tend to have to be kept at like room temperature. So we kept it inside and we had it in the garage every once in a while, but they loved it and they played on it. And um, that one worked really fine. The battery didn't give us any problems. And so that is an idea. There are other electric vehicles out there that aren't as costly and do have a different battery system, so they may work better. So yeah, those are the reasons that we will not be doing a big ride on anymore. And for full context, we have never actually owned a Power Wheels one. So if you have owned a Power Wheels one, I have seen when I Google, a lot of people still have the battery issues, but let me know if they're any better because they tend to cost more. I think the Power Wheels are pretty expensive. Um, but maybe they have better batteries, I don't know. So let me know about that. Um, hit me up in the comments below what you think about ride-ons. And for us, we're pretty much done with them. We're gonna go more towards things that the kids can use and power with their own legs or whatever. That's all I got for you today. I hope you guys are doing well out there. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Bada bing, bada boom. What happens when I walk up to the refrigerator?